Hi there, this is back again. The our last session on Konos DB 2.3 Quick Start make it easy for you to get up and running. I'm sure it's pretty easy, as Konos DB SQL is super similar to the SQL we use in our traditional relational database. So in our previous video, we've successfully added Oceanic Station into our Konos DB. So today we'll be diving into our CRUD journey with a focus on Oceanic Station, starting with the query chapter. We're kicking off today with how to query in Konos DB. First off, I'm sure this SQL query you guys are very familiar with. It is just querying the top 10 entries of a day's data from the air table, sorted by time. In time series data, there's a common query method that involves aggregating data through time buckets. Today, we'll be talking about the dayBing function in ConosDB. The dayBing function takes three parameters, interval, force, and origins. The interval sets the bucket length, force is the original field to process, origin is the start time for the data. The date bin function creates bucket starting from origin, dividing by interval and returns the bucket time step for the source. The interval is a stream that gets parsed into a time interval, while source and origins are timestamp types, returning a time step. Alright, now let's see how this function works with an example. This SQL line queries a day's worth of data from the C table, buckets the time into 45 minutes intervals, and aggregates the data to calculate the average temperature. The interval specifies the length of time for each bucket. For instance, if data is bucket into a 45 minutes interval, the resulting data points would be at 0, 45, and 90 minutes, and so on. The time is the time field to process. Time step is the starting time for the data. And the where condition limits the queries to one day's data for Yan Yun Gao. Goodbye bucket for aggregation. And finally, returning the first 10 entries after sorting the data in an ascending order by time. You can also bucket by day. This SQL is used to query the average wind force at Xiaomaidao over a month. It is querying a month's data, bucketing by one day and aggregating to find the average. And there you have it. That's how you write SQL for aggregating data over time in ConosDB.